I have some great and tragic news for you and I need to share this with you now because I'm already running out of time. The day is the 6th of December. Fusebox, if you don't know, have released a screenshot on the original Love Villa app which basically says this. From December the 11th, 2023, seasons 1 to 3 will no longer be able to be played. These legacy seasons run on a third party tool that's been discontinued beyond their control. We know how much you love these seasons, it's our intention to remaster them and bring them back. Please note on December the 11th, an app update will be rolled out in stores featuring newer season content to replace seasons 1 to 3. Once the app is updated, your gem balance will be reset. So please ensure you use up your currency before December the 11th, 2023. So this is what Fusebox have released. It is incredibly sad news. It's also sad because I don't think, and please correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think I've seen this anywhere on their socials. Um, and I feel like this is just one of those devastating, devastating things that we just can't do anything about. That being said, I have decided to take it upon myself to film season two. As I said, it's currently December the 6th as I'm filming this. It probably won't be until after the app's already gone down by the time you see this video, but I am going to be filming all of season two. Fingers crossed. I'm gonna do my best and see how far I can get in the next five days. So without further ado, here we go. Let's start season two for the second time with only five days to go until the end of the season. As it's loading in, I just can't help but feel how sad this is. My start on this channel, realistically, like I used to do a whole load of different videos and I settled on Love Island the game season two and Love Island just went from there. Romance games went from there. And I just think that is really, really sad, but in the best way that I don't know, feels very full circle to be here now. Also, it's just like an added point. I have 34 VIP tickets and I have 175 gems. I'm not going to be buying any more for the app because I just feel like I'm going to run out of time if I buy them. So yeah, that's the decision. Why is this so terrifying? I have my 30 days here and I'm going to have to press restart, restart the whole show. Here we go. Gosh, okay, here we go. Part one of day one. Let's get into this. Welcome to paradise. Playing an episode across the pass. I think I've paid all my passes, so I don't think I'm gonna need to use them, but here we go. The search for true love is never easy. But for you, that's about to change. We've got a beautiful villa with all the luxury extras including a massive communal bedroom. And we're filling it with 10 of the hottest and most eligible singles on the planet. And you're one of them. But in this game of love, there's one golden rule. To make it to the final and be in with a chance of winning the grand prize, you've got to couple up or clear out. Are you ready to flirt, fight, and find love? It's time for your ultimate summer romance. Choose your appearance. Okay, so, I feel like we have to go for a different character to Ashley last time. I can't play as Ashley again. Ashley found her love with Bobby, okay? So today we'll go for a completely, I say a completely different character. There wasn't much customization the first time round, I'll be completely honest. Like it doesn't feel like you can change your character up too much. I think I'm gonna go for this character. She seems like fun. And I think that is something that we need in this playthrough, some fun. This is our character. Her name is M. She's a brand new character. Hello, M. Check me out. Is this the look? Yep, nailed it. What should I wear? Okay, so is this your first time playing Love Island? No, I have played before. Let's pick out our outfit. Now, I did end up buying a fair few outfits as the series progressed. I don't remember buying that one. That one's quite nice. I quite like that one. As if I'm gonna end up buying all the ones I don't already have, aren't I? And then we're gonna go in with some ruffles. Let's go in. I look amazing. Pack your bags. You're on your way to Love Island. Your summer in paradise is about to begin. Bring it on. The Jeep engine fades as you pull up to the villa. You blink in the bright sunlight as you step out. You're finally here. The villa? I've never seen anything like it. I can't wait to see the rest of it. Another Jeep pulls up to the villa. A pair of expensive heels hit the ground the moment the Jeep stops. Oh wow, hi! That outfit is incredible. This is Hope. Now I will say, and I will get this out of the way now because half of you aren't gonna believe me. I have the worst memory. I am so terrible at trying to remember anything. So this series is gonna be 
interesting because I think I remember maybe five, six moments tops from the whole arc. So this is really going to be like a new playthrough for me. Like imagine if you've just seen a couple of spoilers online. That's where my head is at. This was like a lifetime ago I filmed this. So um, I don't really remember anything apart from like the residual feelings I had for characters. Shall we put it that way? Hope is 26 from London. She's a retail ambassador and voted most likely to become CEO. I'm Hope. What's your name, hun? What do you want to be called? I'm Em. My name is Em. I'm Em. It's so nice to meet you. I can't believe we're finally here. How are you feeling? I'm actually a bit nervous. Babe, stick with me and you'll be fine. I was so excited I almost tripped jumping out the car. I nearly started my summer of love flat on my face. Can you imagine how that would have looked? <laughs> that would have been hilarious. Excuse me? I guess we'll see who turns the most heads once the boys arrive. Oops! <laughs> Already put my foot in it. I can't wait to get a look at all the gorgeous guys we're going to be hooking up with. Speaking of which, shall we go and have a look inside? I want to check out the bedroom. Wow, look at this bedroom. It's so fresh, but I can't imagine what it'll look like tomorrow. You know we're all going to be getting into bed with a guy we just met. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Me too, although I'm not going to come out and say that to the guys. Obviously, I'm looking for something long term, but it's been a while since I've been on a date. If there's a handsome, strong and silent type, I don't know if I'll want to wait around. You're interrupted by the sound of the door clicking open and another voice calling out. Hey girls! The new girl runs over to you and hugs you both. This is Lottie. Now I do remember she is Australian. She's from Melbourne. She's a makeup artist. Her lucky number is 13. She's 24. Lottie looks you up and down. You guys are going to be some strong competition. I love your style. That outfit is incredible. She turns to Hope. And your makeup is amazing. It must take you ages to get ready. Getting my look perfect is important to me. Lottie backs her eyelashes and winks in your direction. How about you? Do I spend a lot of time getting ready? I'll do it for big nights. Yeah, I get that. Sometimes you just want to wear your PJs and chill, right? And it's good to give your skin a break. I wish I was as brave as Lottie with my look, but I try and keep my style classic because of work. It's not just a look on me. I'm a makeup artist, which means going all out is a great way to show off my skill. It's not exactly the best career to meet boys, though. What about you, Em? What do you do? I'm a... I think Ash Ashley was a musician, so I think for M, she's gonna be... I think she's gonna be a student. She's still young and she's studying. I think she might be a health and fitness girly. I'm studying health and fitness. So you're looking for someone to get sweaty with. Lottie is cut short as her head peeks around the door. Hi, I'm so glad I'm not the first one here. Hi, come on over. The new girl approaches gingerly and hugs each of you in turn. I'm Hannah. This is Hannah. I remember... She's into books. She's 21 from St. Albans. She's a social media assistant and she's writing her first novel. I guess you guys didn't hear me come in. Did I miss any good chat? We were just talking about getting to know the boys. I don't know about you guys, but it feels like I've been single forever. It's so nice to hear someone else say that. I thought it was just me. What about you, Em? You're gorgeous. How come you're single? What brought me to Love Island? Things just never got serious with anyone. The same for me. I think I always put my career first, so nothing ever has the chance to develop. I was starting to feel like all my relationships were cursed. I've had liars, cheaters, men who think getting ready just means two squirts of aftershave. Like, where are all the good men out there? <laughs> They're all dating other people. Folks always make it seem like the right guy is just going to appear if you wait for him. But I guess mine never got the message. Hannah seems like she's waiting for her Prince Charming. Maybe you'll find the Prince this summer. Oh gosh, I hope so. We're all here because we're single. We should help each other find the right guy. I feel like we're going to be this team of awesome women all looking to get each other coupled up. I don't want to end up fighting with you guys over some man. I'm all about putting the girls first. Sure, why not? Well, I say it at least. I'm so glad you agree. I think we've got to build some trust between us before the game starts. You're interrupted again by the click of heels approaching. Hello, ladies. I'm Marisol. This is Marisol. She's 24 from Portsmouth. She is a law student and her style icon is Amal Clooney, which somewhat dates this game. Marisol glides into the room and air kisses everyone on both cheeks. That's such a pretty name. Thank you. I see you've all met already. Not at all. Come and chat with us. I'm Hope and this is Em. We were just saying it's important that the girls support each other. Em was just saying she's a total team player. I respect that we should be friends, but I go after what I want. I won't compete for the sake of it, but if I see someone I like, she trails off, realizing the girls are watching. Look, I didn't come here to make enemies. 
But I'm not gonna miss a chance at love because of someone else's feelings. That's pretty hardcore, I like it. I'm such a coward when it comes to dating. I never know how to go for what I want. Babe, you're about to share a bed with a boy in a room full of cameras. If you can do that, you can do anything. You've got to be brave if you're gonna find love. How outgoing am I? I can be loud when I need to be, but I like to chill out sometimes too. That's me, I party when I'm out, but I'm just as happy having a chill day at the beach. I'm not about that take it easy lifestyle. I don't even know how I manage everything if I did. Friends, family, work, dating, studying, reading, hobbies. That's a lot, hun, how do you manage? I drink a lot of coffee, like a lot. I could go for one now actually. Coffee? Babes, we've been here for ages and no one's popped a bottle yet. I think it's time to find out where the fizz is and start this summer off right. Now you're talking. Let's get this party started. Lottie struts over to the door, then stops in her tracks. What was that noise? I might have an idea. She checks her phone. Guys, I got a text. Oh my gosh. Here we go, ladies. Girls, it's time to meet the boys. There's five sexy men waiting to meet you on the lawn. You must take it in turns to make an entrance and pick a boy. But don't relax once you've coupled up. The boys all stay up for grabs until every girl has chosen. Will the next girl out steal your hunk and put you on the bench? Hashtag pick a mix. Hashtag stand by your man. It's happening guys! Who do you think will get to go first? I hope it's Marisol. It might be easier if someone else goes first. You feel your phone vibrate. I guess we're about to find out. The girl going first will be M. Of course it's us, of course. I didn't want to go first, but I guess someone has to. All the other girls turn to look at you. Good luck. You walk out of the villa and stop dead. There are five gorgeous men standing on a line on the lawn. There are five gorgeous men standing in a line on the lawn. Look at these guys. I'll take my time checking them all out first. I'm sure they won't mind waiting. You scan down the line one by one. All right, my name's Gary. Nice to meet you. This is Gary. Now, Gary was our original first pick, I'm sure. He might not have been, but I did enjoy Gary. He's 23 from Chatham. Chatham? Chatham? A crane operator. His favorite food is his nan's roast dinner. He looks like he works out. <laughs> you smile at Gary and he grins back at you. You turn your attention to the next boy. Hi, I'm Noah. This is Noah. He's 25 from Romford. He is the librarian, which I thought was Hannah. Shh. He doesn't say anything else. I'm gonna see who's next. Maybe he's not the one for me. Next in line is, hi beautiful, this is Rocco. Now, I remember a bit about Rocco. He's from Belfast. He owns a cocktails and cronuts food truck and is hugging a lion cub in his Tinder profile. I'm looking forward to making a connection with you. What's well, cooking good looking? Maybe we should find out together. Looks like I've already made an impression. Guess I better keep looking. You turn to the next boy in line. I'm Ibrahim. This is Ibrahim. I don't remember much about him, I don't think. He's 22 from Birmingham. He's a golf pro. And Mr. June in this year's Men of Golf calendar. Girl, you're like winning all four major golf tournaments in one year. What? Because you're a grand slam. Uh, thank you. Next. I've still got other options. And the last one. The long-awaited. The heart's stompingly beautiful. It's Bobby. Hey, gorgeous. This is Bobby. Bobby, I miss him so much. He's 24 from Glasgow. He's a hospital caterer and he bought his own apron with him. Saving the best till last, were you? I like the sweet dessert at the end of the main course of beefcake. I'm gonna laugh at his joke. My heart does go like Bobby. Oh. Bobby. You burst out laughing. Are you saying you're sweeter than all these other guys? Maybe you should pick me and find out. Your phone beep. Em, now you've met the boys, it's time to find out what they think of you. Please ask the boys to step forward if they fancy you. Okay, boys, now I get to ask you the all-important question. If you fancy me, please step forward. You wait for a second and then the boys begin to move. Gary steps forward first. Rocco steps forward. Ibrahim steps forward. Bobby steps forward. I'm spoiled for choice. So was it Noah who didn't? I should ask the boys who step forward what they like about me. I'm gonna ask Rocco. Rocco, you've stepped forward. Of course I did. I feel like we could have something really special. Well, he's definitely a smooth talker. What about Bobby? Bobby, why did you step forward? You seem like the kind of girl who doesn't go over the top with her look. I rate that. I don't want the competition when we stand next to each other, you know? Bobby grins at you. Joking, of course. Anyway, you know if you pit me, you'll be laughing all the way to the bedroom. 
and in it. I'm gonna talk to Ibrahim. Why did you step forward? Ibrahim grins at you. I just sort of uh, thought I gotta take my shot, you know? And Gary. Gary, why did you step forward? Gary looks thoughtful. You look great, that always helps. My type is definitely someone who puts a bit of effort into their appearance. I'm kind of a simple guy. I just figured you look a bit of a sort, so I thought I'd try it. Well, I've seen all the boys, so I guess it's time to make my choice. I know I've only just met you all, but I do have to choose, so the boy I want to couple up with is... Now, I feel like we're gonna get a little bit shafted on this. I feel like I remember something about not getting what we want, but... As much, as much as I feel like I want to play another Bobby route, and I might change my mind and go for the Bobby route, I'm actually going to go for Rocco. Rocco smiles at you and makes a heart shape with his fingers. I'm really feeling your vibe. The other boys all applaud as you go and stand next to Rocco. Well done, mate. You're taking an early lead. It's all still to play for, though. Rocco grins at you. Hi, by the way. Hi. This isn't how I usually meet people, but I've got to say, I'm loving it so far. Before you can say anything else, the door to the villa bursts open and Lottie strides out. Hi boys, hope you're all ready for a good time. Lottie scans the boys quickly and raises an eyebrow. I wonder if any of you guys can handle me. I'll go straight in and ask any of you that fancy me to step forward. You feel Rocco's arms shift slightly as though he wanted to step forward, but then he stops. Did he just try and step forward? I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it. Maybe it was nothing. Bobby hesitates and then steps forward. Lottie rolls her eyes and then gently pokes her tongue out at the boys. Well, this one is better than none, I suppose. Being brutally honest, I was kind of hoping to see this guy here step forward. She points at Rocco, but I'm glad he didn't. Em and I both agreed to put the girls first and I'm gonna respect that. So the guy I wanna couple up with is... She pauses and turns to Bobby. I'm so sorry, hun. I don't even know your name yet. It's Bobby. She smiles. Okay, Bobby, you're with me. She strides over to Bobby and kisses him on the cheek. What do you reckon? They won't. Um, it's my Bobby. They won't make it one night. <laughs> you catch yourself staring at Lottie and she notices your expression. Two down, three to go. Big maths. The door opens again and Marisol walks out to face the boys. What a view. Let me get a good look at you all. She shields her eyes from the sun. How are you going to choose, babe? I think you can learn a lot about someone's character by looking at how they present themselves. Everyone waits as Marisol walks up and down the line and inspects the boys one by one. She stops by Ibrahim. Look at how this guy is standing. What could he be hiding? Then she stops by Gary. Hmm, I'd like to get to know you better too. Okay, boys, I've had a look at you. Which of you like the look of me? Ibrahim steps forward immediately. Bold and confident. I like it. What's your name, gorgeous? Ibrahim. Well then, the boy I want to couple up with is... Ibrahim. You're a girl that knows what she wants. I like that. Rocco glances at you. Ibrahim seemed like a good lad earlier when we were chatting. And you've already met Marisol, right? Do you think they'll work out? They look hot together, I can say that for a fact. It doesn't take much to see that they're a good couple. So we're down to two then? Yeah. I'm sure the right person is about to come out, Noah. Don't worry about it. I know it takes a bit longer for me to make an impression. Hope strides confidently out of the villa and looks around. You all look so cute in your couples. Now, I'm not saying this to be mean. I'm just here to meet the right person. I might not be the first of the party, but it doesn't mean I'm going to get stuck with the leftovers. She walks right over to Noah. What's your name, babes? Noah. Noah, you are just the hottest thing I've ever laid eyes on. I'm like melting under your gaze. Good for her. I hope it goes well for them. My mind's made up. The boy I want to couple up with is Noah. Hope walks over to Noah and kisses him on the cheek. Hannah is next to walk out of the door. Oh, M. G. I'm literally speechless. Look at all these guys. It's like the first time I went to the stables to pick out a pony. Babes, you need to choose yourself a stallion. Okay, so this makes me a little bit giddy, but I'm just going to ask any of the boys that fancy me to step forward. There's silence for a moment. Nobody moves. Come on, boys, don't be shy. She's gorgeous. Look at her. Bobby starts to step forward and Lottie's arm goes out to stop him. I didn't mean you. You just said... Slowly, Gary grins and steps forward. You are fit. I just didn't know if I would be your type. Sweetheart, right now you're like my knight in shining armor. I'm Gary. Right, then I choose to couple up with Gary. She skips over to him, throws her arms around his waist and whispers in his ear. Gary looks unsure. But she didn't have much choice. Poor Hannah. So, are we all good? Is that it? Um, I think so. She looks around nervously. Isn't there, like, usually another person? What do you mean? Well, there are five girls and five boys. We're evenly matched. I won't worry about it, mate. You're calling me mate? Sorry, mate. Uh, anyway, 
I don't reckon there's going to be anyone else for now. We're all here, we're in our couples, and we still haven't really met each other yet. Exactly. She looks him in the eye, a mischievous grin on her face. Let's crack on. The islanders all chat and start to get to know each other. You look at Rocco. Oh, that's me. She reads aloud. Islanders, you've all coupled up. We hope you'll be very happy together. Aw, that's nice. Wait, there's more. It's time to get to know your partners and your options. The first recoupling will be tomorrow. Any islanders left single after the recoupling will be vulnerable to being dumped. Hashtag switch it up. Hashtag clock is ticking. A recoupling already? Talk about soon. Does that mean there'll be... A dumping? No, don't worry. No one could be left single because we have an even number of people here. Unless someone new comes in before then. Everyone suddenly goes quiet for a moment. That's pretty scary. Yeah, what if you don't get on with anyone? Or what if you really click with your partner and then they get ripped away from you dramatically? What's that Spanish phrase? Peso reservoir? Anyway, whatever will be, will be. Quesera sera. Quesera sera. It's Spanish. I don't know what it is, but it's not Spanish. It's true though. The only thing we can do is get to know our partners and hope we've got that connection. Lottie's right, I should really focus on getting to know Rocco better. Why don't I take him aside for a while? Yeah, of course. Should we take Rocco somewhere quieter? Let's do it. Rocco notices you staring at him. Is everything all right? Come with me. Let's get to know each other better. You don't beat around the bush, do you? Well, I'm into that if I'm honest. The two of you make your way around the pool and sit down on the sun loungers. As we're moving to the sun loungers, I'm just gonna take this moment to say, if you are enjoying this video, please make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload a video. And also, I'm so sorry for the accents. They're not good. I know they're not good, but this is the last time I might ever play Love Island season two. I'm gonna put some character in, okay? I'm sorry, not sorry. Thank you. His eyes light up as he watches you sit down. If I'm honest, it's such a weird trip coming in here and meeting all these girls. It's like I've been here five minutes and I'm already sitting next to the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. That sounds like a line. Do you mean that? Of course I do. The competition is pretty fierce out here for both of us. My head is spinning. It's all so much to take in. How are you finding it? I'm settling in okay. Yeah, me too. I never thought I'd make it in and now there's so much happening all at once. He looks around and the sound of the other islanders chatting drifts across the lawn. So you picked me? You noticed that, huh? I guess we should get to know each other a bit. Ask me anything. I'm an open book. Um, okay. Okay, what are you looking for on Love Island? Love, of course. I definitely think two people can make somewhere like this and be a perfect match. And I think I might have already made a really good start with that. This is fun. Ask me another. I want to know the weirdest place you've had sex <laughs> in the back of a rival's food van. Wait, what? I was doing a big European tour, following all the major festivals in my van one summer. The music, the money was great, the music was amazing, and the odd fling here and there didn't hurt either. But I kept bumping into this one woman. But I kept bumping into this one woman who was pretty much selling the same stuff as me except she gave everyone an extra pickle. Well, I had to offer two pickles to keep the custom up. So then she started offering three pickles. It got to the point where we were basically giving away a jar of pickles to every customer. One day, I banged on the back of her van to try and put an end to it. But we'd spent weeks watching each other cook over a hot grill all day. And when she opened the door, she gave me this look. We use the hot dog buns as cushions. This is fun, I like being interviewed. Ask me one more. I want to know what's your type. Oh, that's an easy one. My mates would say, I tend to go for girls that are a little out there who don't mind being the center of attention. I also love a girl who puts effort into her look. Someone that's a bit more refined, you know, who really likes to front. I enjoy a girl that doesn't mind me being a bit flirty with the others, but keeps me on my toes. I feel like I need that excitement to keep things going, you know? It kind of shows she's looking out for herself and being honest with what she wants. Hope that gives you some idea about what I'm looking for, I guess. There's a brief moment of silence as the two of you look at each other. I'm really looking forward to getting to know you. He kisses you lightly on the cheek. You hear a group of the other islanders laughing somewhere behind you. I guess we should get to go and know the others a little bit too. Yeah, you're right. Chat more later though, right? Oh yeah, for sure. Lottie pulls away from Bobby and heads over to you. Hey Em, how are you feeling? How am I feeling? I'm hoping some new people arrive soon. Of course they will. No worries if you're not feeling it. Just think of those handsome hunks who might walk through the door at any moment. The reason I wanted to talk to you is some of the girls were talking about maybe doing something tonight. Like what? I don't know, just something so we can get to know each other a bit better. It's a bit out there, but there's gonna be a full moon tonight. The moon's in Scorpio right now. It's 
a very sexy and mischievous time. So I was thinking we could all get together underneath it and, you know, celebrate our collective witchy power. Unless you've got another idea. I know that's not everyone's cup of tea. This could be a really good chance to do something fun with the girls and find out the gossip about their partners if I'm interested in cracking on. Then again, I could just spend the evening with Rocco. I should, ooh, celebrate our power under the moon, play a prank on the boys or spend time with our partners. Do you know what? I'm kind of interested to see how the moon thing goes. Right, see you on the lawn around midnight. I can't wait to get that energy flowing. Bobby calls her name and she smiles at you before heading back to him. Now I'm alone, I've got the pick of boys to chat to. And I can't wait to channel some lunar power. Look at that, our new islanders are all coupled up, but they know it's not gonna last. Emma's ended up with Rocco, but is he the right person for her? Who's gonna be cracking on and who's gonna fall out? And who's gonna be the first to reveal an embarrassing secret? With a recoupling already on the horizon, the stakes couldn't be higher. The game has only just begun. What did we think of the first part of Love Island, the game? Season two, or should I say Love Villa? I don't even know how to phrase it anymore, but I am so excited that we are finally getting back to playing this season. However, it is obviously with a tinge of sadness. I'm gonna get straight on to the next part and I think I'm gonna group them. So it's gonna be day one to day 30. But right now, let's come on to day one part two. Welcome back to a brand new summer of Love Island. Previously, our sexy singles met each other for the first time. I'm literally speechless. Look at these guys. And coupled up. The boy I want to couple up with is Rocco. And our islanders got a little surprise. A jumping tonight. The islanders still seem a bit frosty. So it's time to heat things up with a game of truth or dare. All the islanders are chatting in the garden. You take a moment to look around at the new couples. Hope and Noah, Hannah and Gary, Lottie and Bobby, Marisol and Ibrahim, and of course, you and Rocco. Wow, 10 hotties alone in a beautiful villa. Sounds like the start of a horror movie. I was thinking it was more glamorous than that. It's like how those classic romance novels start. A big house, lots of eligible young men, and Bobby. Hey, I'm eligible. Are you? I'm pretty sure no one's been called illegible since like the olden days. I'm not even sure what it means to be honest. I just wanted to be in it if everyone else was. So we're all here, what's next? Where's the frozen margaritas at? Now we're on the same page. It's time to kick back in the sunshine and have a drink. There's a table on one side of the lawn laid out with champagne on ice and 10 champagne flutes. Gary heads straight for it. Condensation rolls enticingly down the sides of the ice bucket. Bit fancier than I'm used to, but I can make it work. There's a satisfying pop and the bubbles spill down the sides of the bottle. Amazing, that sound never gets old. I love the first part of a new adventure. I remember a time where I take my van down the Adriatic coast. There are about 10 of us and we met at this tiny cocktail bar. Sounds like a great story mate, but do you want one of these? Rocco stops talking and starts to give Gary a hand. Why don't all of you men fetch us some drinks? Making the boys work for it, I love it. The boys walk off towards the drinks. What about you Em, wanna give us a hand? Some choices will ask you where you want to go in the villa and who you want to spend time with. These choices will shape your Love Island story. Should I stay and chat to the girls or go and help the boys? I am going to... Ooh, I think we can do both, but I'm gonna start with chatting to the boys. You reach the table just as Noah is handing around the glasses. Didn't fancy a girl's chat. I'd rather be talking to you. Rocco grins and looks into your eyes. And I'd rather be talking to you. Hey, we're all right here. No need to lay on the fact of 50 on the first day. I don't blame you for coming with us, to be honest. Ella's already starting to wind me up. So it's going well for you guys then. It's only the first day, to be fair. And she is stunning. But what was that stuff she was saying about this place being like a romance novel? Gary doesn't have much time for Hannah's imagination. I'm gonna defend Hannah. I like her, she's really sweet. And anyway, isn't finding love what we're all here for? I don't blame her for wanting all that stuff. I guess I'm just wanting more about the real world. Love ain't all rose petals, you know. It's about finding someone who makes you toast when you're sad. Toast? You can't win love with toast, my friend. I like Hannah's attitude. 
That's what it's all about for me. Love should make you write poetry, even if you don't know how. So love is like my old English teacher. Everyone laughs. My man, no, we're coming in with a one-liner. I think you know you like someone when you check to see if they laugh at your jokes. Noah looks thoughtful. I don't know if I've ever felt anything like that. Maybe I'm not the romantic type. I won't worry about it. Seems like we all think love is something different anyway. What do you think, Hem? Which of these boys has the right idea about love? I want someone who's imaginative and romantic. This is what I'm saying. Love is like a beautiful flower and we water it with our emotions. Gary stares at Rocco. I hate to break up the party lads but shouldn't we take some of these drinks back to the girls? All right yeah. The boys fill up the glasses and walk back to the others. Hey boys. Noah hands around the drinks. Cheers everyone. Welcome to Love Island. Cheers. The sound of glasses clinking is followed by quiet as everyone drinks. That's delicious. So classy. I'm never gonna get why people like this stuff. What? Can't go wrong with a little cheeky V, you get me? They used to do two for one pitches down on my local on Fridays. Marisol winks at him. What a revelation. I can't wait to see what else we're gonna find out about each other. You won't have to wait long, Marisol. Gary looks at his phone. It's me. Guys, I've got a text. Islanders, it's time to find out who's hot under the collar and who's playing it cool. Head to the fire pit to play a game of truth or dare. This is my game, you guys. Let's go. There are two stacks of cards set out by the fire pit. One stack is marked truth and the other is marked dare. Oh my gosh, yes. We've got cards and everything. Serious truth or dare business. This is not at all what I was expecting. Haven't you done this before, Rocco? You have to pick truth or dare and then do what it says on the card. When you've had a turn and you pick someone else to have a go. Oh, I thought we'd get to ask each other some questions we made up. Well, Rocco, I don't even want to think about the kind of thing you'd ask. Rocco grins and winks at Lottie. Did he just wink at her? I'll handle it later. You give Rocco a look. What? Okay, is everyone ready? Let's crack on. Lottie mutters under her breath. I guess she's going first then. Hope has already taken charge of the game. It's great, she's getting the party started. Lottie raises her eyebrows. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, I choose dare. She takes the first card from the top of the deck. Give a foot massage to one of the other islanders. Wow, getting right in there. Oh, gross. I don't think I could touch someone's feet on the first day I met them. I'm definitely choosing truth when it comes to my turn. What a miss out on all the fun. Suck someone's toes might be in there too. Gross. Okay, well, I think it's time to get this person out of his shell a little bit. So the person I choose is Noah. Come on, big man, get those piggies out. Hope takes Noah's foot in her hands and begins to rump her thumbs up and down his soul. How's that feeling, mate? Actually, Hope slides her fingers between Noah's toes. Noah sighs like he's enjoying it. Pretty good. Well, this is already the weirdest holiday I've ever been on. Hope looks like she's really getting into it. I'm going to cheer her on. Get in, girl. He looks like he's loving it. Hope smiles back at you. Well done for getting us started, Hope. Who are you going to choose next? Hope looks around at all of the islanders. Let's keep things lively. M seems like she's up for having some fun. You're up. Truth or dare, Em? What should I choose? Be spontaneous. Choose dare. I don't know. I think truth is a really brave option. Lottie rolls her eyes. Look at you boys deciding for her. You're so thoughtful. You make your own choice, Em. I choose dare. Yes, Em. Go big or go home. Okay. The dare is take a selfie and text it to the hottest islander. Okay. That's not as bad as the feet one. I think it's worse. I always look so bad in selfies. It's all about getting that perfect pose. Right, Em? I've got to choose something really good. What should I do? Let's go sultry and seductive. You run your hands through your hair and work on your best pout. You snap a couple and choose the best one. Perfect. But who should I send it to? This is a great opportunity to get in there with one of the boys. But how would the other girls feel about that? I could always play it safe and choose to send it to one of them instead. I think I want to send it to one of the girls and I think I want to send it to Lottie. It might be a bit of a surprise but at least the girls will know I'm not going to try it on with their guys. It might be a good way of getting to know some of the girls better. Take your time, Em. Don't rush her. Who you send a flirty pic to is a very important decision. You immediately send the message. You send the message and immediately Lottie's phone beeps. 
Wow, thank you so much. I don't know if you were supposed to choose a girl there. None of us were good enough, huh? I think it's great. Emma isn't bound by convention. And if she thinks Lottie is attractive, for more to criticize. Maybe that's something I'm interested in too. He winks at the guys. Good luck with that, mate. I think Emma's just not stepping on anyone else's toes. So it's Em's turn to choose next. Who's next? Why don't you choose one of the boys, Em? Okay. But don't choose Noah. We want to get all the boys involved, right? No sense in you and me fighting over anything. Lottie raises her eyebrows at you. I am going to choose Rocco. Playing it safe a little bit. I think Rocco should go next. I'm always up for it. I choose truth. Didn't you just tell M to choose dare? To dare is to take a risk, my friend. I will always encourage that in other people. But I want to choose truth. I came in here to bear my soul. I've already bared my soul, big man. Rocco thinks choosing truth lets him bear his soul. I think he is a romantic spirit. Rocco smiles at you. I'm so glad you think so. Let's keep this moving, shall we? Rocco, your question is, what was your most embarrassing sexual experience? Sex is a beautiful, intimate thing. None of my experiences have ever been embarrassing. I very much doubt that. There was this time I was so good the neighbors banged on the door. You were so good the neighbors came round to your house. I say neighbors, I mean the other people in the car park. This was in my truck. Mate, I'm gonna stop you there. You took a girl back to your truck where you prepare food. That's definitely the most embarrassing story I've heard for ages. I thought I had bad lines, but this is so much worse. Hey girl, would you like to come and enjoy a beautiful, intimate experience in my van? All the boys burst out laughing. Sounds like a good time to me. A sexy man and a catering sized jar of chocolate sauce. What's not to like? Well, I've done my part in this game. It's now someone else's turn. So who are you gonna choose to go next? Um, how about... He casts his eye around the group. Marisol. Okay, I choose truth. Good choice. Your question is... Have you ever kissed someone of the same gender on a night out? Yes, of course. For fun? My friend Persia is always snogging everyone on the dance floor. Girls, lads. No, I mean I actually like to meet girls on nights out. Oh, you're bisexual. I get it. Sorry, Marisol, I didn't mean to imply you're like my friend who just snogs everyone. Well, lots of people do like to experiment, especially on nights out when inhibitions are down. But I'm genuinely interested in women, just about as much as men. I actually get more nervous talking to girls girls for some reason. If I meet a really beautiful girl, I get tongue-tied. So the club is a place where you can talk with your lips? We always talk with our lips, Rocco. Something like that. Bobby curls his lips in weird directions. Yeah, try talking without your lips. It can't be done. I'm good on the dance floor, so I end up feeling confident, like I could make the first move. And then you end up getting tongue-tied, but not from talking. Yeah, by that time I can tell if she's on my wavelength and interested. That's boss Marisol. It's hard enough for me with only boys in my dating pool. I kind of feel reassured knowing that Marisol gets nervous talking to girls just as much as I do. Well, men usually come to me, so it's simpler. But I could totally see myself in a long-term thing with another woman. Am I the only one? Yeah. Yes, and I do. So I'm not the only one. That's really cool. I think it's good to be open to discovering new things about yourself, but it's also important to just let yourself be who you are, you know? I totally agree. You really sound Marisol. Time for another quick decision. Who's going next? Marisol glances over at you. I think Rocco should go next. Didn't he just go? Yeah, funny that Hope doesn't have anything to say about it this time round. I'm afraid I can go again. I choose Dare. Hope picks up a card. Oh, it's a good one. Kiss the Islander you fancy the most. I don't think you can pick yourself though, mate. I feel like I've only just met you all, but I don't even have to think about this one. He walks right over to you and leans in for a kiss. I'm gonna kiss him passionately, why not? You pull him towards you and run your hands in his hair as you kiss. Everyone else cheers. Our first kiss. Whoa, that was amazing. I love that you went there. Okay, moving on. Who should go next? How about Hannah? Okay, um, I can't believe Rocco thinks I am the most attractive girl here. I must really be his type. You zone back in just in time to hear Hannah finish speaking. And I was pulling hay out of my hair for the rest of the day. It's like one of them books my nan buys in the charity shop with the painted covers. Well, I prefer to call it my Lady Chatterley's lover moment, but each to their own. Lottie, I think you should go next. Let's make sure all the girls are embarrassed fairly, after all. You watch the game for a few more rounds. Lottie sucks on Noah's earlobe. Just seeing how angry it would make her, Noah reveals his biggest fear. 
It's not funny. Grasshoppers are like spiders that can jump at you when you're not looking. And Hope shares a little too much. I think it's probably the back of my thighs. I don't know why, but I always get goosebumps when someone strokes me there, especially with a feather. Now, are you taking notes on this, bruv? Suddenly you hear your name. I choose M. I think that might be it, I'm afraid. We're all out of cards. I was about to get another turn. I think I could have that go if someone else made up the challenges. Now, I didn't pay for this before. I'm also okay to not pay for it this time, so I was done anyway. Oh, good. I don't think I could have watched another foot massage anyway. What is it with you and Fee? I just don't like it when people try and make them look sexy. What, like this? He starts wiggling his toes at her. Hannah screams and runs away. Wow, that's a phobia I'd like to know more about. Marisol follows her and everyone starts to wander off. As everyone walks away, Bobby hangs back. Em, do you fancy a quick chat with him for a minute? You settle on the daybeds and look around the villa. It's still a beautiful day. The afternoon sunshine glints on the pool. You can see Marisol and Hannah chatting on the lawn and some of the boys have already started working out at the gym. Bobby flops down beside you. Hey, fancy a chat? I'm sure Rocco won't mind. I'd like to get to know you better. Same here, that's why I came over. He looks around like he can't think of what to say. I'll just come straight out with it. I thought there might be a little bit of chemistry building up between us and I just wanted to know, am I the type of guy you'd usually go for? Yeah, I like guys like you. That's good to hear. Seems like Bobby might also be interested in me. I could take this further if I wanted to. What should I say? I'd like to get to know you better. Bobby flashes a smile. I'm glad I came over to chat then. It's suddenly interrupted by the sound of a phone somewhere in the villa. Text, guys, I got a text. I guess that means we got to go anyway. All the islanders gather around as Marisol starts reading. Islanders, tonight there'll be a welcome party. Please get ready to say hi to a very special guest. Hashtag drinks on us. Hashtag dropping the bombshell. Amazing, a party. Lottie leans into you. We can do our moon ceremony after the party. She turns back to the group. So wait, does that mean another girl is coming in here? All the girls look at each other, suddenly worried. You catch Noah looking at Hope. Or it could be another guy. Whoever it is, it means we'll have an odd number for the recoupling. So someone will be single. Or dumped. A new islander. I'm more excited by that announcement than Noah was for his foot massage. But will it be a new boy or girl? And whose head could be turned? And what does this mean for the upcoming recoupling? Find out next on Love Island. What are we thinking so far? I am about to go straight into the next part, so I hope you have enjoyed it so far. Let me know what you're thinking so far down in the comments below. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're still watching. I appreciate you so much. And without further ado, let's get into the last part of day one. I am back, and as you can see, I, it's the same day, but I've had a bit of a change around. I've just done a roll for painting on stream, and we made this lovely little ginger head Gingerhead? Gingerbread house kind of vibe. Um, so yeah, things are changing. Things are changing. But my commitment to getting this done. I have such a commitment. Okay, let's move on to day one, part three. This is the 11th Islander. Does the arrival of a fiery new Islander cause trouble in paradise? Let's find out. Previously on Love Island, we met our couples. Hope and Noah, Hannah and Gary, Lottie and Bobby, Marisol and Ibrahim, and Emma and Rocco. The Islanders got to know each other with a game of truth or dare. I just don't like it when people try and make them sexy. And Em got to know another boy. Am I the type of guy you'd normally go for? Coming up in this episode, the first night welcome party kicks off with a bang as a new Islander enters the villa. In the dressing room, the girls are getting ready for their first night party. The whole room is filled with glitter spray and the smell of sun cream. I think it'd be really nice to have another girl in the villa. This is Hope in her party outfit. More girls, more power, right? Lottie rolls her eyes. Oh, please. I love Lottie's dress. I love it so much. If the situation was different, sure. But in here, you know, if a girl comes in now, she'll be the hottest person any of us have ever seen and she'll be out to get what she wants. And what if she wants Noah? Hope's face falls. Hearing you say that makes me nervous. Hannah's got a very pretty dress on too. I just want everyone to meet their perfect match. But what if her perfect match is the same as my perfect match? We need to get used to it. It's all part of the game. Let's just make sure we're the best at playing it. I agree. Marisol looks ready for some business. It could be a guy, you know. Maybe your perfect man is gonna walk through the door, Hannah. He'll have glasses and a cardigan and a mustache and... What else do you like? Horses. And he's gonna ride in on a horse. 
I'm imagining him riding in shirtless, and if that happens, you won't be the only one falling at his feet. You like a guy that rides horses? I like a guy that's shirtless. My ex in Australia was always shirtless. He was ripped so I didn't complain too much, but it was a little weird. One time he came to pick me up for a date and he didn't have his shirt on. What did you say when you saw him? Nothing, I just looked at his abs and took him inside. We never made our reservation. If he was so hot, why did you break up? Oh gosh, he was as thick as a brick. I didn't see it at first because I was blinded by the fanny flutters. The what? Um, it's an Aussie thing, I guess. Anyway, one time we talked about going on holiday and he asked me, what country is France in? That's when I knew things were going south. I think that, oh, what should we say? Lottie's ex sounds really stupid. I think everyone asks some silly questions sometimes, just saying. Um, but I'm gonna say, I don't, no, I don't know. I don't wanna get on Lottie's bad side. What country is France in? Are you serious? Watch out, Em, Lottie's gonna break up with you as well. We had to break up twice in the end. What do you mean? He was watching the footy when I said, I think we should take some time apart. I've heard that one before. And then two days later, he showed up at my house like nothing happened. Turns out he wasn't even paying attention to me the first time I broke up with him. What did you do? I had to break up with him again. Louder. Although I almost thought about taking him back, he was that fit. Sounds like it ended for a good reason, to be honest. I could never take someone back. Could you? Yeah, I have. I personally have never taken an ex back, but I do feel like it all depends on circumstance. And it still didn't work out? Well, I'm single and on Love Island, so... I'm worried about what it would be like in here. I can't imagine how hard breaking up would be. You'll still have to see them every day. That's a lot of difficult emotions to process. And you have to watch them get off with someone else. That would be the hardest thing for me. How would I feel about another girl in here kissing my ex? Oh, it depends on the situation. If we'd just been coupled up for a few days or something, I guess it's fine. But if you steal him after we've been together for weeks and been to the hideaway, ooh, I can just feel that it's gonna happen to me. I trust my instincts and I know one of you will end up kissing a guy I like. Do you think that would happen with Bobby? Depends how you all feel about him, I guess. I still don't know how we're all feeling. I honestly don't know myself. Oh, well, don't worry about it, hun. It's only the first day after all, no one's attached yet. Well, apart from me. Yeah, you and Noah seem to have clicked straight away. What about you, Em? Where's your head at? Um, I'm really into Rocco. I'm not, but I'm not gonna cause drama right now. Interesting. I've been trying to keep an eye on all the boys and see if I can feel out what they're really like. I think Rocco's type is someone who's really out there and full on in their personality. You definitely give me that impression. Also, I'm pretty sure he wants someone who's self-assured and knows what they want. Does that sound like you? I think so. Yeah, I'm that kind of girl. Maybe it will work out for you guys then. To be fair, we've only just met each other. All of this could change. It's good to know though. I'm still not sure what I want. Bobby seems like a cool guy, but I'm not set on him. He's so funny, but I don't know if there's physical attraction there for either of us. I don't think I'm his type. And I noticed he might be looking elsewhere. Is she talking about me? Maybe she saw us talking earlier. I'm not sure about Ibrahim either. He's gorgeous, but what if it means he's never had to work for it? I don't want to find out later he's completely self-centered. I get the feeling there's hidden depths behind those beautiful eyes. It worries me we might never get to find out more about these boys. If there is another girl that comes in, we all have to fight for our place here. We're a team now. Good on you, Em. None of us want to get screwed over by some rando that walks in the door. Especially since we already know there's going to be a recoupling. I'm with you on that. I think we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's not make a clique. We should be focusing on looking our best instead. Let's go out there and look amazing and then all the boys will want us. Hope's right. I've got to get my look right if I'm going to stay in the competition. Oh, not going to wear that. Okay, so I have all of the like challenge dresses and the wedding dresses as well because I've played through every season on Love Villa or Love Island the game originally. But I think I am going to pick a dress that kind of still works for this situation. It's like the first night vibes. Um, this is fun. It is one of the only ones I haven't paid for though, so I'll keep looking around. But I think we might have to go for that. Oh, though, this is nice. That was like our original Ashley dress. I do like this one as well, but it is the free dress. So I think I'm going to go for... Do you know what? I think I'm actually going to unlock this one because I feel like it suits Em's personality quite a lot. So let's go for this one. You look amazing, Em. If it is a new girl, she's not going to have a chance. All the girls walk out onto the lawn together where the boys are waiting. Oi, oi, there they are. Gary looks so nice with glasses. I love glasses on a guy. I just do. 
Some of these guys were getting impatient. This is Ibrahim. I still think the trousers are very short. Like, is that a trend? Yeah, especially Mr. La La Land over here. I'm so sorry for the accents. I'm so sorry. Bobby always looks good. What? Rocco also, I do like this vibe a lot. It suits the weather, you know? You know what, that guy Sebastian who sings and plays the piano in that movie? You remind me of him. The singing crab who lives under the sea. No, that's a different, Never mind. The point is, Rocco wants us to think he's laid back, but it turns out he doesn't like getting stood up. That's me. I'm happiest when I'm lying down. He winks at all the girls. The boys are waiting for us, but well, we're here now. Let's get this party started. It's our first night in the villa. I want a party. My girl, let's get on it. Why are you guys still chatting? You know there's champagne over here, right? Hope heads over to the kitchen and grabs a bottle from an ice bucket. So how are you girls finding the villa? It's amazing. That's what I was thinking. Sometimes I stay in hotels on a golf tour, but it's nothing like this. Did you have a chance to look at the roof terrace yet? That's going to be such a beautiful spot to sit out and look at the stars. I hope I'll get a chance to do that one evening with someone. Rocco looks at you. I'd like that. I could teach you the constellations. Oh, silly, really. A shipyard at night is just as nice as the stars. But no one ever wants to go and look at a shipyard with me. A shipyard? Yeah, there's this park near where I grew up and you can sit out at the hill at night and just look at the docks. You can't see any stars, obviously, because of smoke. But the lights on all the cranes are amazing at night. They're all different colours and you can tell loads about what's going on. Gary thinks a shipyard at night is romantic. I'd be into that. Nice to know someone is. I hope rolls her eyes like she's bored. Um, sorry to interrupt because this is riveting. But I think I'm starting to see why some of you are single. I was expecting better chat than... Come and look at my shipyard, baby. Right? What happened to the old classics? Lottie looks at Hannah. Hey girl, do you know how to give the kiss of life? Um, because you just took my breath away. Wow, you try one. Okay, um, this one was always my favorite. Hey girl, are you an overdue library book? I don't know, am I? Because you've got fine written all over you. Lottie bursts out laughing. That's so good. No one catches Hope's eye. Hey Hope feel my shirt. Um, okay. She gently touches the hem of his shirt. Feel that? That's boyfriend material. Oh my gosh, I'm melting. These pickup lines, I love them. Me too. I want to pretend I like them ironically, but... Ibrahim clears his throat. Okay, check this out. Hey girl, are you a damn? Because you got me saying beaver. Uh, wait, I mean... There's an awkward silence. I'm gonna laugh along, why not? Let's just have a laugh. You burst out laughing and Ibrahim smiles at you. At least someone likes it. Why don't you try one, Em? Um, okay. I'm gonna use my chat up line on one of the girls and we're going for Lottie again. We never know. Let's hear it. Okay. Hey, Lottie, are you French? Because I fall for you. Lottie looks at you blankly. I fell, like, I, I fell. I fell, I fell. Don't worry about it. The girls will smile at you. You smashed it with that one. I might have to work on my game. Trust me, there are worse things than not being a smooth talker. People who talk to your chest instead of your face. I take a couple of lines from a sweet guy over someone who talked down to me. Or someone who can't take no for an answer. Hope pauses and looks at the group. I was about to talk about this one time a guy was physically inappropriate with me. Is that going to make you feel uncomfortable? No judgment. I don't know. I think I might skip this. I'm sorry. I think I don't know what I did on the first playthrough, but this time I'm going to skip it. That's fine, Em. I totally get it. Hope you can tell us another time when Em isn't around. Thanks, guys. Seeing as we're talking stories, I'm reading a book about anti-gravity. Is it any good? It's impossible to put down. <laughs> get it? Joey would be proud of that one. Everyone groans. When a girl goes out with me, she can expect... Uh, Quality banter and an absolute gent. And a hundred bad dad jokes. Dad jokes? This is quality humour. Right, a bishop walks into a nunnery. But what could be better than watching Gary do five minutes of stand-up? Oh, I know. How about this? I got a text. Islanders, please go to the fire pit and get ready to meet your new arrival. Hashtag new arrival. Hashtag turn up the heat. Are you ready, Islanders? Let's do this. Rocco pulls you aside on the way over to the fire pit. What's up? Today's been such a good laugh, but I thought we should have a quick chat before someone else arrives and it all kicks off. He's supposed to be Irish. It felt like there was a bit of tension during that truth or dare game earlier today. Was it okay I kissed you when I did that dare? Yeah, I loved it. I chose you this morning and you kissed me this afternoon. What's not to like? I played a lot of those games when I was traveling and everyone has slightly different rules. It's so interesting to me how quickly a group of people start flirting and gossiping when they're all on holiday. It's like being a teenager again. He pauses for a second. Can I ask you now? Now we're in private. Where's your head at? What are you thinking about you and me? I think we should... I want to give us a shot, but it feels a bit early to commit. 
I'm glad you said that. I think we've got a good connection so far. We're clicking, you're saying all the right stuff, you see my type on paper, but it has only been a day. I'm not making a decision or anything like that right now. I want to get to know everyone in here. You do? For sure. I'm a free spirit, I don't know if I'm ready to tie myself down yet. So does that mean you might be looking to couple up with someone else? You're interrupted by the sound of Lottie calling you. Whenever you two lovebirds are ready, you hear the clicking of stilettos on the stone as you reach the fire pit. Hi everyone! I'm so excited to meet you all. This is Priya. It's the return of Priya. This is Priya. She's 29 from Manchester. She's an estate agent, but like one of those good ones. Rocco whistles under his breath. Excuse me, Rocco. May I know? I guess we're the welcoming committee. Come on, boys. The boys gather around Priya and introduce themselves. It's a new girl. And she's beautiful. Oh, do you think so? She's stunning, man. Look at all those boys all swarming around her. You think they hadn't just met five gorgeous women today already? You sound jealous. Are you worried about Bobby? Nah, I'm not worried. If he can't see what I've got, that's his loss. What about you guys? You glance over at Rocco. He's laughing along with Priya at something. I... I want my chance to get to know him. I know it's pretty early, but I already like him. I don't really mind Gary going to chat with her. I don't think we're right for each other anyway. But I don't like the idea of one of us girls going home already. If Gary does fancy Priya more, I'll have to find someone else to couple up with. If we don't like it, we should do something about it. I'm gonna go over there and meet her. I bet she'll be really nice if we get to know her and we can check up on the boys too. You wanna come with? I'd rather stick with my girls. I'll go, I'd like to see what kind of person she is. I'm gonna stay and talk to Lottie. What about you, Em? I am going to... I'm gonna go meet the new girl. I'll come with you guys. I'd like to see what Priya's all about. Your choice. It's not what I would have chosen though. I know where my loyalties lie. What? You walk over to the boys, leaving Lottie and Hannah whispering to each other. Here they are. Were you lads trying to keep Priya all to yourself? Hope immediately goes in to hug Priya. How are you doing, babes? I'm Hope. It's so good to meet you. It's good to meet you too. I'm so glad you girls aren't judging me for gate crashing your party. Priya turns to you. I'm going to compliment her. We're not about putting other girls down. Hi, I'm Em. You're stunning, by the way, we were just saying. You're so sweet. I was really worried I'd be fading into the background, to be honest. All you girls are so beautiful, and I know I'm slightly older than all of you. I wouldn't have noticed that. Uh, moving swiftly on. I'm really looking forward to getting to know you better. Yeah, we all are. I try and be a pretty open person. What do you want to know? Uh, what's your usual type? I usually go for cheeky and flirty guys. So, like Rocco. Usually I'm the one that struggles to commit. I love guys who are fun to be around, but I tend to get a bit scared when it gets a bit more serious. Everyone here seems fun to be around in their own way. Yeah, we're just a bunch of mushrooms. What? You know, we're fun guys. Maybe jokes aren't your thing, lad. Anyway, everyone seems sound so far. Even those two. They'll come around soon, I'm sure. Hope points to Lottie and Hannah, who are still chatting by the fire pit. What's going on there? Why didn't they want to come and say hi? Why didn't they come over and say hi? Oh, it's not about you. Lottie and Hannah just had something else that they wanted to talk about. What was that then? Um, it's okay. I get it. Not all the girls are happy I'm here. Whatever. Let's just get over there. Let's get them over here. Whatever. Let's get them over here. Oi, Lottie, Hannah. Coming over or what? Sorry we didn't come over straight away. We had something important to discuss. Lottie air kisses Priya on both cheeks. What did you say your name was, babe? I'm Priya. It's nice to meet you. It must be really hard for you to come in when we're already coupled up. I'm gonna... Oh, I'm gonna keep quiet. You watch as Priya turns to face Lottie and air kisses her back. Oh my gosh, I love your Aussie accent. It's so rural. Maybe Priya can hold her own. Guys, it's a bit early to be getting into it like this. It's our first day in the villa. Noah is right. There's going to be plenty of time for falling out later. Sorry if I'm not loving the idea that we're already in danger. Speaking of which, I guess it's time to ask the big question. She turns to Priya. Have any of these boys caught your eye already? I would say Ibrahim is my type straight away. I'm so glad I asked. But Rocco has got gorgeous eyes too. But I'm not trying to tread on anyone's toes. It's still early days. I don't mind. We've literally known each other for a few hours anyway. I think it's only fair you get a chance to talk with all the boys and we should get you a drink honestly boys it's a party and no one's got pre or a glass of bubbly yet i guess i better go and do that grafting thing then honey i don't think anyone with a figure like that needs to graft go and sit on the bed over there and watch the boys form a line bobby i think we need to have a word yeah but i think it's about that time for all of us you watch as the couples drift off to talk to each other you can already hear raised voices coming from where lottie and bobby are sitting what a day and tomorrow is going to be even more full-on after a while the party winds down and the 
islanders begin to get ready for bed. Everyone gets into their pajamas. What am I gonna wear tonight? I need to look my best for the moon ceremony with Lottie. And it's gonna be what I'm gonna be wearing in the morning as well. Okay, so did I ever spend any money on pajamas throughout this whole series? I did buy this and red is kind of our color. I think we just go for the red. Hey, this looks great. I'll head down now. All the girls gather on the lawn, bathed in the soft glow of moonlight. I'm glad you're here, Priya. Honestly. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah, with everything that's happened today, I thought it would just be good to take a moment to relax and forget it all. We all deserve to be celebrated, no matter how we feel personally. Everyone link hands with someone else. This might be a good chance to get closer to one of the other girls. Or find out about her partner if I'm interested in him. I'm going to hold Lottie's hand. Hi there. She turns away for a second to address everyone. I just want you to take a second to be in the moment right here with this amazing, powerful woman. Forget all the nonsense. This is what really matters. You can chat if you want or don't, just do what the moon tells you. Lottie looks back to you and squeezes your hand. I'm going to compliment her. You're so fierce and bold. I admire that. I admire you too, Em. A few moments pass. The night air moves gently across your bare skin. A cicada sings from a nearby bush. Eventually, everyone lowers their hands as if on cue. Look at that, we're all super in tune with the flow of energy. I feel a bit closer to everyone now. Everyone starts to disperse. You wander over to the daybeds to sit down for a moment. You're sitting on the daybeds looking at the view when Rocco sits down beside you. Hey, gorgeous. And hello to you too. It's nearly time for bed. And as it's our first night as a couple... I was thinking about what you said earlier about wanting to get to know each other. And I thought there's one way I know that's great for that. How do you feel about sharing a bed tonight? I am looking forward to it. I'm so glad you said that. He breathes deeply. I was so much more nervous than I was expecting. Rocco smiles and edges closer to you. A cool breeze drifts over the lawn and you both shiver slightly. You look amazing tonight. I just want to say that. I'm really glad we're coupled up. Wow, I'm really getting those first night vibes. We haven't even got into the bedroom yet. There won't be any privacy there anyway. This might be the best opportunity for like a cheeky kiss. Should we try it? Let's try it. Why not? I've never coupled up with Rocco this early. You quietly shift yourself closer to Rocco and brush your nose up against his cheek. Hey, hey. Your hand reaches up to his face and you draw his lips towards yours. You're radiant, Em. Rocco brushes a strand of hair from your face. He stares deeply into your eyes while his hand caresses your cheek. You lean in and your lips meet. He cups your face in his hands and you wrap your arms around his waist and sink into the kiss. For a moment, you forget where you are. All you can think about is the warmth of his lips against yours. When you open your eyes, Rocco is looking at you. His eyes sparkle. He takes your hand in his and you look into the light. And you look into his eyes. I should say, that was intense. That's because we have a real connection, Em. You really think so? Definitely. I knew from the moment I laid eyes on you. That was really nice. He giggles. I can't believe we kissed on the first night. You hear commotion over by the villa. Priya comes to the doorway. Guys, come over here. I got a text. Priya, tomorrow you'll get to choose one of the boys to couple up with, leaving one of the girls single and vulnerable. Hashtag a challenger appears. Hashtag girl code. I knew it. This is Lottie's late night outfit. Interesting. And this is what Marisol will be sleeping in. It looks more like a bikini, but you know, if she's comfy. It's like it's competition time, ladies. Hope is in the cozy but sexy pajamas. And on that note, it's time we left those islanders to get their beauty sleep. Not that they need it. Have you seen Priya or Ibrahim? Wow, I think these guys are the hottest bunch we've had yet. I feel like I'm going to get heat stroke just by looking at them. Coming up next time on Love Island, it kicks off as Priya cracks on. That was it for our first episode of season two. I am so hoping, I'm so, so, so hoping I can get all of this done so I can get it out to you. Not obviously before the game goes away, but definitely so I can get it all filmed before the game goes away. That is so important. Let me know what you thought of this part down in the comments below. If you remember, I hope you enjoyed seeing this video before anyone else. And thank you so much for watching. If you want to, please do subscribe. It really helps me out and turn on notifications so you know when I upload a video, make sure you give it a like as well. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I appreciate you lots and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Are you ready to fat? Fat? Irish is so far away from whatever accent this is gonna be. And I don't know if you're gonna see any of it before I upload the whole rest of the series in case I don't get the whole series done in time. What if you hate it? What if you absolutely hate the accent? Oh my God. I enjoy being a good, I enjoy being a girl.
Hope and Noah, Harry and Gary. It's been all about putting go. Whoa! I was very excited about that. Should we try it? Let's try it. Why not? I've never coupled up with Rhino. Rhino? 